It is too much to figure out on your own, I'd say. But when you get with someone who's already done it, it makes it makes so much sense. You can go buy your own house if you got good credit. You still hire a realtor. So although there is so much information out there, there's YouTube University. If information were everything hidden were needed, then everybody would be rich. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, people pay for organized information. They pay for information from someone who's done the thing already. Most people don't let the work work. You know, mm -hmm. they always say like the work is gonna work. It's gonna work on you until you become the person that's ready to work for you. You gotta build up your foundation, your yeah. your rest. The ability to inspire the people to become a better person, a better version of themselves. That is a gem that can turn a person off. Listen, I don't mean to stop you right there, but I just gotta let y'all know. We turn it up. <laughs> we turn it up. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the Honor Pursuit Podcast. We interview six, seven, eight figure entrepreneurs in our today's special, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel so about this one. You know what I mean? Shout out to this message because, uh, you know, I got on someone that, uh, you know, he's a friend of mine and uh, we come from the same place. You know, you know we've met uh, before under different circumstances, you know what I'm saying? Like being from the same city and things like that. Totally different environment. And if y'all know anything about Boston, bro, it's cold, bro. So very much. You know what I'm saying? And it's cold in a lot of different reasons. And, and not just the weather, but just like, just like how people would work together. You know what I'm saying? There's no collaboration. There's no, there's no togetherness. It was like, all right, yeah, that's cool, but I rock with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really the energy of the city. And uh, him and I both came from that. But in, in, in these circumstances, neither one of us act like that. You know what I'm saying? Bad. We understand that it's collaboration, right? The collaboration is, is what's going to give you that compensation. And uh, I watched him grow over the past two years. You know, and, um, you know, I'm excited for him. I'm proud of him. I'm happy. I'm happy uh, for him. And we finally figured out a time and space to connect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was there. I wasn't. I was here. Yeah. He wasn't. You know what I'm saying? So that's so that's really how it was. But uh, Darius Brenners, welcome to the podcast, bro. Nah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you having me, man. It has been a long time yeah, coming, bro. Man. It's been a trips. You've been supposed to get it. But yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, most people, uh, you know, they know you from that financial education space, right? Credit. Funding, mm -hmm. capital, getting people's situation right, touch a lot of lives and everything like that. But uh, for those that you know may not be really paying attention, there's there's something else that you that you teach, that you share, that you bring a lot of value to. There's something else that's really really impactful. There's something else that changed your life and also changing a lot of you know some of your mentees' lives and things like that. And it's also a really high uh, leverage skill, right? And and you know, Myron always talks about like self awareness. It's something that's really right in front of everybody. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, so we're talking about digital products, uh, digital services. Um, you know, what is it? How do we leverage that? How can the common, you know, um, guy or girl listening to the podcast really tap into the power that is a digital product and really get to their first, I don't know, first thousand, five thousand dollars and, and really run up a back? Absolutely. So, like you said, like, you know, it came to me because, you know, I teach credit. Everyone knows we do funding. We, we funded a lot of money, help people. And, you know, when I said we're going to help you start, grow, and scale your business, um, I really mean that. So what happened was a lot of my students that were coming to me, they were getting funding, and they were like, well, what's next? Or people started asking me, hey, I see you do the classes. I see you coaching. I want to create my coaching program. Or I want to sell my ebooks. So how do I get more leads? So it turned into, you know how I think, we all think the same. Yeah. Where every day is a lot of questions. Oh, really? We make an offer. We make an offer. <laughs> and I figured it for me, it's super transparent with the people. As much funny as really was the thing that changed my life because yeah. it gave me the foundation. But if I was being super transparent with the people, the way we made a lot of our money is through digital products and services. Mm. So, you know, it is. Wherever it has been, I asked a lot of questions. I said, okay, let me start teaching this thing. So um, I decided to really come this season. I really wanted to help people really be able to package their knowledge. Because yeah. I believe everyone has a gift. Yeah, everyone right. has some skill set. Yeah. It doesn't even have to necessarily be a business. If you get a common question like, uh, you know, how you stay in shape? Uh, how you dress so well on a budget? Those yeah. are all things yeah. that you can create and package through ebooks, courses, coaching programs. Yeah, it's consultation. It's IP. 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 Yeah. Absolutely. So we're a season manager, just really helping people who want to impact a lot of lives. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of money to be made, you know, not a whole lot of overhead. So yeah. that's really dope. So what do you say to those that be like, man, digital products, man, this shit don't work, bro. It's a scam. Like, yo, how can, how, how, how can I 
sell somebody some information that's already there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you say to those people? I say, think of it like this, right? You can go buy your own house. If you got good credit, DC credit, you can go get your own house, but you still hire a realtor, mm-hmm. right? So although there is so much information out there, there's YouTube University, if information were everything anyone needed, then everybody would be rich. Mm-hmm. But the truth is people pay for organized information from A to Z, right? From a blueprint. Yeah. They pay for um they pay for information from someone who's done the thing already. Yeah. A lot of times, you know, people on YouTube can't regurgitate. I'm not saying everyone is, but they can't. But when you come across someone's content, you see they're giving value, you see testimonials, social proof, right? Then that lets you know that person is probably someone who's actually done the thing that they're saying they do. Yeah. So you're paying for that. And um, just the fast pass, like you know, you can figure out a lot of stuff on your own. I'm not the person who tells people they can't go figure things out on their own. But what I do tell you is this, you are going to collapse time when you get the information from someone who's already done it, right? Yeah. Like for example, I, I've done a lot more in the last 18 months than I had in the last 18 years. Crazy. Because what I don't know, I don't know. Mm. The people around me, they don't know it. Coming up, mom and dad, loving to death. There's certain things that they didn't know, so they can't teach me. Mm. If I want to start a podcast, I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm going to come see you, who's already has thousands of reps, already monetizing, rather than try to do it on myself, chip over my feet 50,000 times. By the time I do get on, if ever, it's going to take me 15, 20 years when I could have got it in, in 15 months. Mm. You know? So, so all right. Well, I'm going to give people a real situation. You know what mm-hmm. I'm going to give people like a real situation all right mm-hmm. so let's say um we have someone that and then I, I think this was good because it's come yeah so let's say let's say we got rebecca mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying uh and, let, and let's say rebecca is a trainer okay you know what i'm saying rebecca's a trainer right she goes to the gym and she trains her clients by the hour you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so so she got uh she got appointments pretty much every day or every other day yep. three or four clients She's training them. She's making 70, 80 bucks. Mm-hmm. But, but she's also working her hours. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? She never had a digital product before. You know what I'm saying? She's running across Darius Benders. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's like, well, how could I do what I got going on? I'm actually going and I'm training people. I don't really see how it could work for me. So so what what is a digital product that she could come out with first? Yeah. How would she go about doing that? Mm-hmm. And then what what what's the type of money she can make in, let's say, 30 days? Absolutely. So let's say Rebecca, like I said, she's a trainer. So she probably teaches her, obviously, working out and then obviously nutrition. So what she can do is she can go to, like, onepager.io, right? She can create a one-pager. And the reason I say one-pager is because people love those because attention spans it down, right? Mm-hmm. People want the information now. She can literally create two products. One could be on the workouts. Let's say for ladies, I'm assuming, go just like glutes four days a week, right? So she might call it. Uh, glute master, masterly, right? How to grow your glutes in 30 days. The booty bundle. The booty bundle. Exactly. <laughs> so now she goes and she puts her, her, um, her top, she go to Canva.com or uh, one page of the IO, put her top stuff in that ebook, in that one page or the ebook. Then she can create another one around nutrition because nutrition is the other half of the equation. Mm-hmm. Now she has two products. Now what we can do is we can take that, we can put it in a funnel, right? And she can do that through like a go high level or click funnels. And now she has two products. Let's say that even at, $40 a piece. It doesn't have to be super high. A lot of people teach you, you know, sell high, sell high. I believe low ticket, especially when you're starting out because you can serve a lot of people. A lot of people. She just, if she only sold five a day times just $40, that's $200 a day yeah, times yeah. five days a week. Now she's making what? $1,000 a week. But then the crazy play is this. Most people just think, oh, it stops at the digital product. Now you've gotten these people a whole lot of value. They know that you're good at what you actually say you're good at. So guess what? Everyone who's, everyone who's bought it, now you have their name, number, or email because we set up that funnel. Mm-hmm. Now we can take them from spending $40 with us to now getting them on a phone call, and now they can enter our online program. The reason Rebecca sh- should stop maybe with the brick and mortar, like in the gym, she should do it online because now she can coach people in group. Mm-hmm. So let's say you got a person paid just whatever, a hundred dollars a week. Let's say, what if you now, all eight of those people will just watch your, your lead magnet or your one pager. Now we're with you. Now you're getting 100 times eight of them. Mm-hmm. Instead of trading eight different hours, now you can serve them all at the same time. Mm-hmm. So now you, you're, you literally leverage eight hours and collapses into one. And I made eight times the money. Yo, Rebecca, are you listening? <laughs> Rebecca, are you, you listening? I'm talking to you right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jairus is changing your whole format, yeah. right? Saving you all this time yeah. that you can, you know, spend a little bit of time maybe level, level up and learn more in this space. Absolutely. Or maybe there's something else that you want to learn. Maybe there's some people that you want to spend time with. Family, maybe, uh, Rebecca, you single? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like maybe, like maybe you want to go on yeah, and do something. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but that sounds that sounds crazy, but so basically... You just changed her whole business model. Whole business model. Whole business model. You just flipped it, right? Absolutely. So instead of her spending, you know, four to five dollars a day 
going through the workouts, you know what I'm saying? Go through all of that. She probably got some people she's not excited about. She might miss a meal or something in between. Exactly. She got to do that every single day, right? Yep. You tell her that she can put out a one pager. Now she can also collect people's information that probably wouldn't like to work with her, but they just haven't approached her yet. Yep. So now she's collecting some some extra money for people that she hasn't even met yet. Exactly. Right. So she's getting paid without having to do anything, mm-hmm. right? Because she already did the, the one she pages, right? Yep. So she sells those. Now she can get people on a call, right? She can upsell them to the online program, exactly. which she didn't have before. Exactly. Right. And from then, I'm thinking, I'm thinking kind of like what you might be thinking, but you probably didn't say it yet because we probably didn't touch on it, but she could do she could do a uh, group coaching session Absolutely. in person. Absolutely. Once a month yep. or like bi-monthly. Yep. She could do workout retreats. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? She could collab with somebody that might be in nutrition. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Do something there. So Rebecca. Rebecca, listen, it's, it's that season. It's going down it's right that, now. You know what I'm saying? The great thing about like like a Rebecca, like someone who's a trainer is yeah. with the with the internet. All you need is Zoom and you now not only do you have money coming in online so you can leverage your time, but yeah. now we have something called a continuity battery. Mm-hmm. Because now we talk about okay, a hundred dollars, maybe seven hundred dollars a month, they get a workout every day. But understand it's still that one hour every day. Yeah, maybe you say the time is from five to six PM. Yeah. They have all these people that you can help simultaneously. Mm-hmm. They can do it from the comfort of their home. You can do it from the comfort of your home. And now every month they are recurring. You know, as Russell Brunson mm-hmm. says, if you don't got continuity, you don't have a business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that's facts. And the thing about that also is Rebecca, if you're not if you're not really tapped in, I'm gonna give you something else, right? Everything that every product and service that she's currently using mm-hmm. for their workouts, mm-hmm. they can all now they can all be yeah, affiliates. You know what I'm saying? Talking so I mean, heavy, bro. Bro, now 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 she's yeah. making it's like free money, bro. Yeah. She already got the bands. Yeah. She already she already like like one of my best friends. All she wears is honor. Bro. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So so whether uh, Rebecca's wearing that or she's wearing um uh you know what's that other joint? Dark Wolf mm-hmm. or whatever the joint, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Gym Shark. You can get you can get paid from from wearing the product. That's it. You can get paid for reviewing the products. Yeah. Yep. Which is now helping Rebecca work on that personal brand. Exactly, bro. She going crazy. And, and it's like like last month, just from affiliate links alone, did about eleven thousand mm. dollars. Now, what I tell people is, if you're packaging your one pager or your ebook in Canva, right? Yeah. You always want to yes one add your affiliate links. Like let's say for example, yeah. credit. If I say I sell seven fifty credit ebook. All the primary accounts that I know these people need, yep. they're right there. They have to, it's a clickable link, right? Mm-hmm. So you got to understand that's easy money from all these people who are getting you that in the volume. And some of them are giving you a monthly recover. Mm-hmm. Then the last hype, obviously, is making sure that you have all your social medias on your ebook or your one pager so that not only can they see you or maybe you on Instagram, but we want to create something called only presence, right? So now they go follow your YouTube, your TikTok, your Facebook, whatever it is, because the more people see you, the more likely they are vibing. You take your average person about seven to 12 times before they actually make a purchase with you. So that's super important for anybody. Hey, listen, if you're looking to grow your podcast business or you're looking to leverage podcasts to grow your business, you want to tap in to the Podcast to Profits Academy. We're going to teach you exactly what it takes for you to get more exposure to grow and scale your business or leverage podcasts so you can do more revenue. What you want to do is head over to Podcast to Profits dot com and apply to work with me and a member of my team yo well listen i just gotta play devil's advocate bro. yeah even though i understand the game yeah yeah i play devil's advocate someone's probably thinking right mm-hmm. that's watching this or listening to this joint sounds way too easy mm-hmm. to be true it sounds like it make too much sense <laughs> and if it make too much sense it can't it, yeah. can't, it can't be right right yeah so so for those individuals it's like Nah, what do you say to them? I say it's, I, I'm, a, I'm a person who, before I got really good at this digital product stuff, I was trying it on my own for about three years. Mm. The difference was literally just having coaching. Yeah. The difference was having the guidance because it is too much to figure out on your own, I'd say. But when you get with someone who's already done it, it makes it makes so much sense. Like I just had a student medical first month when I seen me thirteen thousand dollars in mm-hmm. business. I just had uh, another student career first month when I seen me thirteen thirteen thousand five hundred in this business. So it's a degree. We know what we're doing. Sanchez. Oh, you finally going crazy? Yeah, we going crazy. Okay, right that's what's going on. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? No, no. I'm thinking about liner. Oh no, 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 no,
could be simply missing that book of call button at the end of your funnel. So mm-hmm. now you start making five thousand dollars a month. But what if I tell you you had, let's say, you have fifty people come to that funnel, but they all spent only ten, twenty dollars on you? But because you don't have that book of call link, yeah. that that's your two thousand dollar offer, or your five thousand dollar offer. You don't have an ability for those leads to now buy your high ticket. Hundred percent. Look at me, something so simple. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, not the crazy thing. The crazy thing about that is, it's like when you really. Could you was a basic basically what you're talking about self awareness. Yes. Because because the thing, and I like what you say is like the the piece of information you don't know. But that piece of information been there the whole time. It has. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You just have to raise your level of awareness so you can actually see it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And then once you see it, you realize you're like, oh. Yes. And then you got a mad. Yeah, yeah, why can't I figure that out? Hundred percent. It was real. Yeah. 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 So so let's talk about how uh, your life has changed utilizing digital products and services. They kind of put it in context. You know, we just talked about Rebecca, how she could literally run up, you know what I'm saying? Like like being a trainer yep. and then utilizing digital products and services to turn it up. But let's talk about like like your real experience just so we can give the people a little bit more context. For sure. Yeah. Um, so like I said, like, we've been there with the uh, last 12, 15 months, really travel a lot, bro. We got to enjoy the world. Last night, last year, then we went to four or five countries. Um, and it's been great because we talk about time leverage, right? Mm-hmm. You need your time back. And that's one thing doing services. I could do it with some of the services I do, like funny, you could be anywhere, but it's, it's with digital products, it allows you to scale a lot faster, yeah. right? Like one thing we do is we host a, a weekly free workshop, yeah. right? Where we're able to sell one to many. And the power in selling one to many is that it's like what we kind of talked about. What, what Rebecca is leverage your time. So we might run different types of traffic. We might do shout out pages, influencer marketing, Facebook marketing, Facebook ads. And we get people to, um, to one classroom and one day where we're giving a presentation, letting people know that we're actually good at what we say we're good at, right? I call it like the free sample method. The, mm-hmm. the best way to show people you know what you're talking about is to actually show them instead of trying to give away some of the info or not. Yeah. Uh, but we give away a whole lot of free. I call that the burger chicken, bro. That's it. That's it. it. At, the, at, the, at the mall. At the mall. <laughs> exactly. I'll show up live and I say it. What do you do? You go right over to the line, right? Yeah. That's it. Let me get the sex, bro. Exactly. Let me that sex. Exactly. So my favorite way to, uh, Sales through um, virtual events. Yes. You just feel like it's, you know, it's super efficient. You're able to give value, show third party proof, and then you're able to pitch to people who want to take advantage and get to that next level with your offer. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's amazing. And, and because I have personal experience with it on um, myself, I mean, what, what he's saying is full facts. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and the reason why I can say that is like, you got to think about it. You can literally spend hours, mm-hmm. right? Generating and, and and this is no shady because we was well there. You can spend hours and make 15, 20 bucks an hour. Yep. Right. Thanks. Right. You get that 40 bucks an hour, you're like, yo, I'm lit yeah. right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I'm making 40 bucks an hour, right? Yeah. Or you can, you know, and then you wear and, and you and then you okay, let's do the math. Mm-hmm. Let's do the math real quick. All right. So so basically, right, you got you got 40 bucks an hour, right? And you got 40 hours a week. That's 1600 mm-hmm. 1600 times four. It's sixty four hundred. Mm-hmm. That's not a bad month. Nope. You know what I'm saying? But most people they prior to prior to yeah. your awareness, yeah. you'd be like, that's a good month, right? Yeah. And then sixty four times twelve, you'd be like, you know, just eighty, just eighty k. Yeah. I'm cool. I cut some grass. That's a honey. <laughs> <laughs> I cut some grass because we have some right. You know what I'm saying? So boom, sixty four hundred, right? And it's forty dollars an hour. You make a digital product. We we're gonna sell it. Mm-hmm. We'll sell it for uh, forty bucks. Yeah. Let's say we got 80 people to buy it, right? That's $3,200 right there. Exactly. And then the thing about this, this 80 people that bought it, they don't need a whole month to buy it. They can do it in a day. They, an hour. You could sell, yeah, you could sell 80 in a in a in a month, in a week, in a day, in an hour, in a minute. Let's do some real real, yeah. real life time. Okay. Right? Let's right, say right, you right. got a course. Yep. Say you have a course, it's a digital product. Yep. It's 997. Yeah. Let's say you just got a hundred people to show up to your webinar. Yeah. A hundred people, right? You could do that organically. You could do that with a few shout out pages. You could spend a little bit on some Facebook ads. Let's say you got a hundred people in the room. All right. At 997, let's say you only convert 5%. Mm. So we're talking about now five people were paying you 997. Yeah. 5,000 an hour. Where yeah. else can you do, where else can you do that? Hold on. I know we all can do it. Mm-hmm. Nowhere. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And that's the power of digital yeah. products. And, the, and, the, and the, the reason I love this business outside of the money is 
the impact that you have on yeah. people, right? If you know, if I you give a person the fish, they eat now. If you teach a person how to fish, they truly eat for a lifetime. And that's my favorite part about the business. Yeah. Like now I have students who are now teaching. I got yeah. students who are now making money on my impact and others. I got people who are running their own funding companies, bringing in 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars a month. And that's the that's the thing that makes me like like this this is lit. This yeah. is what it's about. You yeah. provide a value. Yeah. So you know, what are the hardest things about digital products and services? Because I want to give people the other side. Because mm-hmm. we talk about something. It's fun. Yeah. Traveling. Yeah. Get to the back. You know what I'm saying? 5K in an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Right? That that sounds great. But what are some of the what, what are some of the realistic uh, you know, things that people need to, you know, kind of be aware of if they're looking to create a digital product, For they sure. wanna they wanna you know, do a workshop, sure. maybe put a course together. Right. You know what I'm saying? What are some of the real things that they need to just be aware of? Well, what I'll give them right now is the first one is the beginning, right? You have to build your personal brand. Have to. Well, we talk about personal brand. It's like putting out valuable content, building, you know, letting people know that you're actually who you say you are or who you're aspiring to be. So, for example, like, I put out content every single day, mm. even now. But when I first started, you, I mean, you remember it was like every day you got to be giving value, right? You can't come in the game and just day one think you might to go make that 5K in an hour. Yeah. Right? It comes from trust. So, you know, with, with someone who's looking to really start building their authority, start building their brand, what I would say to people is go sit down. You got an iPhone, literally shoot a couple of long form videos. Maybe it's on a topic, like if it's credit, go shoot a 10 minute video on funding, go shoot a 10 minute video on credit and here's mm-hmm. it. Now as you can do is you go on like Opus.pro, right? You can literally pop in an Opus.pro and it'll break down your long form content into mini clips. So now you got a long form for YouTube and now you got short form that you can leverage for Instagram and TikTok. Mm-hmm. And you need to be. It's called value content. The most important thing you can do is provide value. When I think of podcasts, I think of branding. You know why? Because every day I see something about podcasts. Yo, listen. Every day. I don't mean to stop you right there, yeah, but I just got to let y'all know. Yeah, I need my feeling. You know? We turn it up. <laughs> we turn it up. You know what I'm saying? When y'all think about exposure, yeah. we think about literally, literally showing y'all how to monetize with our brand deal sponsorships and having a large audience. Ain't it like, ain't no nobody. It's just because you're showing up daily, giving out yeah. gems, you're giving out sites, resources. So what I tell people is get your gift away. Mm. That's the only way I know a lot of people. But Darius, yeah. if I give it away, how am I going to get paid? Yes. I can't I can't give them, yeah. I can't give them my thing. Yeah. How am I going to make money if I give them my thing? Absolutely. And I'll tell you that is, you got to understand, people don't pay for information. That's everywhere. Mm. People pay for implementation. They pay for reassurance and confidence. Mm. That's what they do. They pay for implementation. Mm-hmm. Reassurance, yeah. confidence, confidence. Yeah. absolutely. So I like to refer as like when a kid gets on a bike at first, right? You got the training wheels on. Why is the parent there? They're letting them ride, but as soon as he close to hitting that wall, now you have someone with you that can turn you around. Give you that guy. That's only if you got your parent, bro. That's shit. That's what I'm saying. That's what it's like. I'm a good coach. Right? 100%. 100%. Around. 100%. So yeah, um, that's the that's the thing I think a lot of people um, underestimate. Yeah. You're going to have to put in that work in mm-hmm. terms of content. Like we post two, three days, uh, two, three times a day giving out value. Um, so yeah, that's number one. Then number two is like, you know, th- there might be seasons where you're going to pivot. There might be seasons where maybe one play that you were working didn't yeah. work. Like, for example, you know, when I first started, we were doing a lot of master classes, which is just master classes where I would charge a loan ticket price and we would just be able to give people value. And then at the end, we would have like an upsell, right? Some seasons that it done wasn't hitting so much. Then maybe we pivoted to webinar style, which is where you do a free class to a lot of people and get value. So just really understand and learn that just like any any type of business. It, and we're not trying to say that it's, oh, damn, when you're going to make a million dollars. No, there's going to be time, but you got to push through. You got to become the person who can push through obstacles and really go out there and win. Yeah, man. Damn, you kind of put you kind of put some things in, in, in context because the pivoting, the thing about pivoting that's important is People need to know when to pivot, mm-hmm. but they also have to give something enough time to, to see develop facts. and develop. You're right. Because you could be pivoting prematurely. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And not even giving the thing that you're doing enough time to see if it actually works. And you pivot and then you do the exact same thing with the thing that you're pivoting. 100%. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Because I think what they call it, uh, gravitropic. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Where, where, the work is happening underground yeah. first. Exactly. The roots is being planted. You can't see how you got to get there. So, right? So, it can't even, it can't even bust through the ground. You can't even get no momentum. 100%. Inertia can't be created. And at that point, you're like, man, this, this joint ain't working. Absolutely. And I've seen that with uh, even some clients that I had uh, early on when I was teaching people how to make 
uh, let's say their first uh, two to five K mm-hmm. with a digital product, you know what I'm saying? Like like pre-selling it, Fire. getting that rolling that while thing. you're building it at the same time. Yeah. And then I would see like they would get to that first one K or two K yeah. and just stop. Stop. Yeah. But it was like, bro, you just made one or two K. Yeah. On I know. digital product. I know. On a pre Why are you stopping? Why are you stopping? Yeah. You know what I mean? Most people don't let the word work. You know, I know. They always say like the work's gonna work. It's gonna work on you until you become the person that's ready to work for. Yeah. And that, and that, that metaphor you just mentioned is really it. It's like you gotta build up your foundation, you're yeah. your reps. It's like bro, people are talking about street cred, right? You gotta build that over time. It's the same in the business. It's business credit. Yeah. How do you respect people? You can do us, you know, quit five, six businesses in the past. They know you as a quitter. You think you're going to come to digital game after a month, you already supposed to be like, hey, boss, what's about for you? No, you got to be consistent. I remember the first, when I was trying this out, like the first four and a half months, I think I had like one or two sales. Man. But then what happened was when it hit, it started hitting. It started banging. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So look, let's, let's, so what, what I want to ask you is this, right? Mm-hmm. So you have success with the digital products, mm-hmm. right? You're successfully coaching, right? You're doing the funded, mm-hmm. right? So when you're looking at the landscape, you, you've seen yourself being able to do this. It wasn't always a reality. No, nope. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So at some point, right? During, during, you know, your, your growth in the space, you had to be inspired, right? You had you had to see something to believe it, right? You had to have have, have a moment that I'm like. It's like one of my favorite things. It's like we it, when you see something, hear something, you can't unsee it, you can't hear it. Yeah. It's like it's like the first time I was, I was at a new event and I see this dude close to me from the stage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it became real. It was crazy, it right? Real. So so what was that moment for you, or, or or was it a couple of moments that 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 awareness shift? And you was like, yo, this is crazy. I had a few of the moments, bro, and I feel like we're going to continue to have moments as we continue to get in new rooms. Yeah. But like you said, it was that first conference I went to uh, out here in Atlanta and circle of CEOs during that pandemic. It was like, I seen all these people, these black people doing things I didn't even know was a thing. People mm-hmm. talking about how much money they making. I'm telling you, people a mil, five mil. I'm like, this is real. So then that really shifted my whole mindset. Like I, I literally remember coming back home a different animal. Like, all right, I, this... It's, it's game time. Like, yeah. All I need to do is, I'm the type of person, I just need to see somebody do it one time and I know I can do it. Um, and then I started see, working with people. I started being in different masterminds, but I'm seeing people do, you know, 100K in a day. We just did our first 100K day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started seeing people do uh, a, a M in a month. We ain't there yet, but that's yeah. goals that we aspire. So yeah. I just feel like keeping yourself really uncomfortable. I know they say that level of always is going to require uncomfort. And I truly believe that because when you start to see it and you're not doing it, it's not about, you know, always like just necessarily formal, but you're like, what do I got to do to get to that next level? Right. right. So just being right. in the environment, I feel yeah. like it's the most important thing. And really just continuing to learn because the more we learn, the more we learn. All right. So let's bring back Rebecca, right? Yeah. So let's say Rebecca's tuning into you, right? Mm-hmm. You just mentioned environment. Mm-hmm. So let's say Rebecca's like, yo, I want to rock. I want to, I want to go crazy with these digital properties. Mm-hmm. Right. But Rebecca's friends ain't shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And let's say Rebecca got a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Now she's single. Let's say she got, look, Let's say she got family that they 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 don't hate, but they ain't really supportive. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's say, let's say Rebecca got a roommate and the roommate ain't on the same time. Mm-hmm. So uh it, okay, and, and then let, let's make it even a little bit more real. Let's say because of the way she was running her business, she can't afford to go to a mastermind. Mm-hmm. Right. So so how would you tell someone like Rebecca or Rebecca specifically, right? Mm-hmm. How she could get in to rooms mm-hmm. in her current situation. Okay, so if she can't afford a, a mastermind, I would say start where you can. Like I started off, I remember I bought uh, this little runway big and he had these uh, $27 classes. That was what I couldn't afford. So I started there. I, I started there, I started getting the result. I got like my first credit card and then I grew. Now I got money, now I invest in the coach. Mm-hmm. So I would tell her, wherever Rebecca's at, she needs to start there. And I, I tell her she needs to stop listening to unqualified people. You can't ask your mother about business entrepreneurship if she's never done it. Mm-hmm. You can't ask your friends or listen to your friends about why, you know, why you should or shouldn't do that thing. You've never done it, right? It's like you asking me how to dunk a basketball. I've never mm-hmm. dunked basketball, so you never asked mm-hmm. that. So I just tell people really like, really look at who and what you're asking because a lot of times that's the reason people don't get to the next level. We're asking the wrong people, right? Um, so that would be the first thing I would tell her and you know, just start getting that information and executing on it. Because the thing is, people think lower price products mean lower value mm-hmm. and a lot of times they don't. That's the, yeah. that's the psychological um, thing. Understanding that you're someone's ebook, 
their course in their coaching program is typically all the same thing. Yeah, they're also on different levels. It's just different levels. Yeah. You get more access at one, right? Mm-hmm. So go hard as hell with that ebook if that's what you can afford right now. Start getting a result, maybe get into a small community, whatever it may be. And then as you start making more money with the information, now you level up. Mm-hmm. Right? It's just it's just progress. Nothing starts great, but you ain't great. What about the environment piece, right? Because mm-hmm. you talked you talked about like um, you know, uh, unqualified people. Okay. Right? So not getting that permission. Okay. She can't, she can't afford to go to, to the mix. Well, what are the different environments that she can get into f- for free or for the love? Perfect. So she can go to eventbrite.com, right? Every city has entrepreneurs. That's a sleeper, right? That's there. a That's sleeper. A sleeper right there. Every single city has That means she can also go to meetup.com. Meetup.com. Yeah. Exactly. Bro, we give it a lot of stuff today. Yeah, That's sleeper. For sure. Um, she can also check out, uh, Facebook groups. Like a lot of times it's like she can go to, uh, fitness Facebook groups in her city. I'm sure this group, she can start linking up with those individuals. Maybe say, hey, you want to do lunch? Maybe she can offer the first lunch on her just mm-hmm. to make that connection with people. Cause you always want to lead with value before asking. Could you say a better relationship, right? If I just say, uh, hey, what up, Brent? How you doing? Can I meet you? You probably like, bro, I get a thousand messages. Mm-hmm. But if you're like, hey, you know, this is maybe something that I can do for you. Or hey, could I take you to lunch? And maybe I'm going to offer you something. To lead with value. Now you're a lot more likely to maybe attend that lunch and now we start networking. So what are some things that she can do to start building relationships with? You know what's one of the number one reciprocity um things you can do? Who's that? The podcast. The podcast, right? You know what I'm saying? Fast. But like like if if Rebecca, if you're listening right now, or anyone right now, if you if you are in a situation where you want to level up, mm-hmm. let's say you don't have the money to level up. Um, whether you're in uh, fitness like Rebecca or whatever space you're in, you can start a podcast for nothing. For nothing. You, can, you can do it on Zoom. Yeah. You can get the free account on Riverside FM. Mm-hmm. You can get the free StreamYard account. Mm-hmm. Right. Virtual show. And then anyone you're looking to connect with, even if it's clients or uh, mm-hmm. people that might be, let's say, above you in terms of just, you know, success yeah. in the space, mm-hmm. invite them on the show. And guess what? They're going to give it a game for free versus saying, yo, can I pick your brain, yeah. right? This, this, the podcast is going to allow mm-hmm. leverage because they're going to want to share what they have going on. Right. And then what do you do? You build an ally, you build a project, you collaborate. You might get some ideas, you'll get inspired, you know what I'm saying? You build a relationship. Right. So that's one of the number one things um, that anyone can do if they if they don't got no bread. I mean, if you got bread, you can 100% do it. Yeah. But I just want people to to know that if you don't have money, you can still start a show. And that show can still help you grow and still help you develop your personal brand. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like one of the best um, podcasts right now that's like really, really successful and like trending up is uh, The Nightcap. Mm-hmm. With, uh, with Shannon and Ocho. Oh, yeah. That's a virtual crazy. show. I know. That's virtual. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, it's like things like that um, that can really be leveraged, that can really, like, 100% help you out. And then going back to what you said, take that podcast, go to Open Spring. Yeah. Bah, 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 or, or, y'all can go to Poshop. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Go to and go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Know what saying? yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, that that'll definitely do because, like, Simultaneously, you're building personal brand. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, that, and, and, and that's underrated. Very much so. Very much that's so. underrated. That's the new rating. That's the new currency in 2024. Mm-hmm. Like building your personal brand is everything. Mm-hmm. And, and, and looking at what other people would do, like, you know, y'all, if you're looking to really grow your brand, you can check out micro influencers. Yeah. Like we're back and she's in the fitness. Maybe she can link up with in collaboration with someone else who's in her field. And again, I say micro because it doesn't have to be these big influencers, right? And if y'all want to know where y'all can find good influencers, good people like the way you go like socialblade.com. Mm-hmm. You can check out a person's engagement rate and really see if their audience is resonating with them because those are going to be the best people versus working with someone who maybe got a million followers, but they ain't really got no real influence, right? Yeah, Influences yeah. when people literally will follow your lead. So yeah. that's one thing that, um, I would tell people for building their brain in terms of marketing. Another thing y'all can leverage, we use a lot of those like shout out pages, mm-hmm. Instagram shout out pages, um, specifically pages that are either in your in your niche or close to it, right? Yeah. So for example, you know, teaching credit, there's a lot of pages like start a black business or recession free. These pages are all centered around finances, credit, funding. So I put in my uh, Myron always talks about it. Instead of going out and finding all the leads, put your prolific content in front of where your audience is already at. Mm-hmm. Now we're funneling these back to our page. That's how we're able to make money on the daily, put people in, you know, our free workshop, whatever it may be. Um, and then the podcast play, the podcast play is the ultimate authority play now because as soon as you get on this mic, your authority goes up like yeah. over a hundred percent. Right. And now it was gold. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
And you got a little halo. Yeah, yeah. And you really get to show that you're, again, good at what yeah. you say you are. And like for ours, for me, it's just fair. Most of the people who buy our 5K or 10K program are people who come from YouTube. Mm-hmm. They come from our live form. Because the difference is on Instagram or TikTok, it's a 30 second click. Yeah, uh, 30 second click. Yes, people will get to know you. But that long form, by the time they sh- a person spent five, 10, 15 minutes watching you, they feel like they know you one as a person when you're talking about personal yeah. brand because you actually know what you're talking about. Yeah. So probably about 75, 70, 70, 75 percent of people who buy a higher ticket stuff come from long form on YouTube. So this is a good segue, right? Because you're talking about like, you know, where where traffic can be uh can come from, mm-hmm. right? So let's go a little bit deeper into the traffic piece. Look, you know, what are the different traffic sources that one could tap into, yep. whether they got bread or they don't got bread? to help, you know, generate traffic so they can sell these digital products. Absolutely. So first is organic. We got to be organic. You got to, again, that's how you're building, right? So yeah. organic is just like you making videos or you just putting them out. Right. The reason why is because this is going to allow you to see what's working and what doesn't work. Mm-hmm. So before you go run a Facebook ad or put this on a shower page or put this on someone else's page, I want to see how this performs organically, right? So once I would tell a person starting off, we'll put out nine pieces of content, mm-hmm. right? Different parts of your industry. And what you could do to find out what type of content you should put in, go to chat DBT, you can type in this prompt. What are 10 common mistakes most people make when starting X business? Mm-hmm. X is whatever your business is. Yeah. It's literally going to pull out all the problems that people are having. Right? Yo, y'all need to do that right now. Right go now. on your phone or right now. Literally. Or go to chat GBT or go on your notes. Literally. What are, what are eight, 10 common mistakes that, that, you know, XYZ does in this business? Exactly. And then we'll just literally bang it out. You can yeah. do a long form, answer all the questions, or you can do it right on your cell phone either way. And now we put those out, right? Um, and then I to give you the open play. And then what we can do is now we can take these clips. If we're, if we have more money, we have some money. Now we can put them on some of these shout out pages. Mm-hmm. For love, for love. Mm-hmm. What is a shout out page? So a shout out page is essentially a bigger page, uh, a page that has a bigger audience. Typically it's niche. Some of them are around motivation. Some of them are around financial literacy. Some are around AI, right? So you would take it in front of pages that have, you know, 300,000, 500,000, a million followers that are highly engaged, right? And again, you gotta go check out that social bleed to make sure that you see their engagement. Mm-hmm. If a shout out page ever reaches out to you, they're probably not. They're probably janky. Yeah, exactly. So you're gonna have to reach out to these pages. And the way you get in contact with these pages is first you go in the search box, you would type in for me, I type in uh, uh, black businesses, and those type of pages came up. First thing you wanna do is you wanna DM them starting with this how much for promo? Don't say hi, how you doing? How much probably the reason why is because their DMs are flooded. You get thousands of DMs every day. This is how you're gonna get a response. Now, what you want to do is on these pages, if you have a little more budget, always ask for a bulk deal. The reason you want a bulk deal is because it's gonna save you a lot of money. Yep. And you, you what you want to say is I want to start building a relationship. So now you're getting 10 post up for the price of you know what might just be normally six, right? So now you're saving some money, and now you're getting in front of all. The key with these pages is this: we don't want to sell on these pages. So what I do is I take my best performing post, typically high, high value, giving away a whole lot of free game. I will post it on these pages, and I just say follow Darius for more on such and such. He's doing something free, or if you're giving away, if someone's giving away a lead magnet, which is just something you give away free to collect a name, number, and email, we give it away in the caption as well. Now what happens is these leads I find to be a little higher quality than Facebook ads only because one, there's uh, uh, less of an entry barrier. Meaning they have to see your post on page. Now they have to click on your name. They have to come back, check out your content. Mm-hmm. They're going to go do your content. They're a little bit more rich. Exactly. Yeah. And now they're going to decide they want to follow you and opt into whatever you got. Uh, versus a Facebook ad, usually you're just getting in front of people's faces and they're just clicking because it's starting to look cool. Mm-hmm. So um, that's one way. And then podcasts, of course, you can get with podcasts. Yeah, you know, make sure you go check out my guy Brendan. He's gonna be on the plays. But um, this play helps a lot in terms of building authority, um, in terms of being able to showcase that that you're good at what you do. And then a lot of people don't know is uh the back end play. We all talk about yeah. right. Should I give him that sauce? You gotta give it to him. All right, cool. Yeah, so, give it to so we have one a podcast, right? Before you leave that podcast, what you wanna do is you wanna always give away something for free, yeah. right? And what you wanna do is you can go check out uh mobile text alerts. And you want to, you can either use a home number or one of the code numbers, like a 411. Um, and what you want to do is you want to tell people on that podcast, text this number for, and you're giving them your free ebook, your free PDF, your free guide, whatever it may be. What you're doing on that is now if that podcast, like Brandon has a whole lot of subscribers. I know that when I give something away for free, now I'm getting all these leads, right? 
you know, expert uh, amateurs make money on the front and experts make money on the back end. Always. So now what you do is you're giving these people something for free and now you're able to get them or maybe a book call. You're able to get them into your free workshop or they come right to your paid, um, your paid offer, whatever it may be. But it gives you a chance to start making money on about it. What's up, y'all? I'm standing in the middle of the street and I'm willing to risk it all because I want you to grow. Whether through paid or organic measures over the next five days, the audience growth challenge, we're going to be teaching you podcast guesting strategy, video marketing strategy, social media prediction predictable viral creation strategies, the power of radio and digital PR. And these strategies are what you need to grow your business over the next four, six, nine, even 12 months to skyrocket your success. So if you want to join the challenge, all you got to do is click the link below and join the audience growth challenge and join it as a VIP. Let's get it. Just, just for context, we yeah. talked about shadow pages. Yeah. Right. You also talked about um, organic. Yeah. Right. Um, you also talked about uh, ads. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Podcasts, podcasts. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And micro influence. And then the micro. Ooh, that's the that's the that's the sleepy one right there. Oh yeah, it, 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 it's actually one of my favorites. I think this year we're gonna do a lot more of that. Yeah. Like you know, a lot of these like funny type dudes on the internet or the, the woman, they got big audiences and trust them. And a lot of times to be transparent, they don't even know their worth. So yeah. you might you might get a stale. You know, they might charge you you know five hundred dollars. You know, you know who said that right? Oh, recently. You might have seen it. Uh, I, I I actually made a video about it. Mm -hmm. um, Drewski. Oh, he said that? So when Drewski was coming up, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He ain't pop pop yet. Yeah. Uh, somebody hit him up when he was a micro influencer. Over the club? Was it for a club? Right? I don't know if it was okay. a club. Okay. It, 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 was for a pro it, it was for a product. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then the dude made 100 racks. Oh, like this. Yeah. Right? And this is the yeah. thing. He didn't even pay Drewski. He, he traded art. He gave him six pieces of art. You know what I'm saying? So we basically got it for free. For free, yeah. Right? And what Juicy said was, he was seeing that piece of content everywhere. Yeah. Like, yeah. the dude was running the ads and all that. <laughs> he was posting on shout outs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so um, you know, he said, you know, I, I guess he made his first 100K. Mm -hmm. um, and he ended up paying Juicy like, on the back end oh, just right. later. Like, that's he was right. like, yo, here's, I think he said he gave him, like, 10. Okay. But that's the, that's the example. Because you don't, you don't, you don't know who... If or when yes. that influence is gonna pop, absolutely, and then you got that content. Exactly. So even if you got the video and you put it out and it don't go crazy, but the influence that goes crazy six months, eight months later, you still got the video. Still do. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And you leverage that for a lifetime. Yeah. That's, the, that's the thing about the internet. I still leverage pieces of content from Gelly and Wallow. I still leverage pieces of content from, you know, a lot of the podcasts I've done or influencers. Uh, I like Double Glory. That's my guy. You know, people like that, they don't have trust with their audience. So they, they don't have to be a million followers. It could be just, it could be 50,000, but if when they're dropping content, you see that they get a whole lot of engagement, mm -hmm. and that's the type of person you want to really be able to collab with. So let, let's talk about just your experience, just because we're in a season right now where, um, you know, people are getting scammed mm -hmm. on the internet, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? And, and it's getting to a point where people are still looking for help, but because they've been burnt, the person that can actually help them yeah. is unable to help them, or they have to do damage control before they can actually help them, right? Yes. So... Uh, let's talk about your experience first. Have you ever been in that experience where you wanted to invest in a digital product, service, coach, you know, mentorship program, and you didn't get what you thought you was going to get, and then you lost a couple of hundred dollars or, 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 or a couple thousand dollars? So I'll be honest, um, to, to my instant thoughts, I have never felt like I've been scammed because I'm the person who always look at looks at the positive in a situation. Um, but I do know that I, I do hear that probes that are just scams, but I've never really experienced one. Even if maybe like it's like I said, bro, sometimes we're just literally it can be just one thing. Mm -hmm. Like I've been in a program where I learned like one thing and it cost me five minutes, but the one thing I learned, how we make extra 10, 20 racks a month. Mm -hmm. So I can't complain about that. But um but to the scam culture I, I have been hearing about it, what I would tell people to do is really do their due diligence and do their homework. Mm -hmm. Um receipts. Right. You you can't fake bro, well, I guess people can't fake receipts, but you want to ask your seats. What I do is I remember one time I used to ask like for referrals, like who are you work with? Right. And then I would talk to that person. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. go That's find it. Yeah, go find out who that person's work with. Go talk to one of your students and ask them, hey, how what was your experience like working with this person? And typically, like when a person asks me, like, oh, what kind of results you give people? Um, I'm a static. I'm ready to flex. Because I say in the info as infopreneurs. 
we flat our flex is different. It ain't about us making money, it's about holding it out. So I'm happy if a person, if a coach or a, a, a content creator is, is ever hesitant or they ever got a little attitude for you asking them for receipts, that's a red flag. So yeah, that's yeah. how you could be on a watch like this. People yeah. who are actually good at what they do, that they love to show off the people they help. 100%. Yeah. So, so, so you kind of answered the next question, which was, um, how can somebody safeguard that? Mm-hmm. And I think you hit that right on the head where, you know, look for the testimonials. Look for the referrals. Yeah. See who they work with. See if you can get, you know, get in contact with the person or send that, send that person a DM. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Say, hey, did you work with this person? You know, did you buy this? You buy that? I saw a testimony. How was that? Right. Yeah. Cause sometimes the testimony is can be. Yeah. yeah. So early. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I see that. I seen that too. I, actually, Dion, he might have showed you too. Yeah. Or told you there's a, uh, you know, uh, a client that, he, that he's probably working with right now. Yeah. And she worked with someone else mm-hmm. and she paid the person like a good amount of cash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then she ain't, she ain't, nothing. she ain't got nothing. Yeah. That's you know crazy. Saying? And, and the thing about and he's still, he's running with the, he's running with the, uh, the testimony. Oh man, yeah. that's terrible. Yeah. And it messes it up for all of us. And on the, on the opposing side of things, that's why it's so important for us. But, but you also don't know that she actually do the work. Exactly. And that's another thing. Sometimes people be scamming themselves. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, and, and it, that's why it's so important to be super transparent with yeah. the offer and what it entails because a lot of times where I see people who are running the coaching space is you leaving gray area. We don't need any gray. This is exactly what you get. This is the, the deliverables already clear. Yeah. Because when you leave that gray area, let's say you're selling from a virtual event. Some of them might have been inspired as hell. They might have just stayed down and note that again. Yeah, right? Exactly. But that's the type of client that could be a mm-hmm. miserable client down the line. So that's why we do the free classes too. I feel like on the on the other side of what you just said, yeah. as a coach or someone who's out there, you're like, well, how do I, you know, get people to trust me more? It's nothing like that free class. Like we have um high ropes and high ropes allows them to track where buyers come in from. And what we learned is the average person doesn't buy from me. So their fourth webinar. Yeah. Today. Well, like, well, that means so they ain't coming back. We had yeah. Zoom they're from October. They just bought. So you never know when people are ready. And that's why it, when people have the money, it's yeah. tax season, yeah. right? So most people, if it, like we talked about earlier, it might not have worked after a month. And you're like, man, this ain't doing what it's going to do. No, you have it. It's called compound interest. Yeah. The person who show up every week, they're like, man, you're so consistent. You're showing up, giving all this value, you're motivating and inspiring the people. And what I learned about coaching is a lot of times, you know, we, we say, you know, information on me, execution on you. But one thing I learned from one of my mentors this year was the ability to inspire the people, right? Not just motivate, because that's kind of temporary, but to inspire the person to become mm. a better person, a better version of themselves. That is a gem that can turn a person up because yeah. confidence needs to confidence. Confidence needs some more money. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Mm. Damn, bro. Kind of went crazy right there. Nah. <laughs> nah, this is dope, bro. De- definitely went crazy. So, um, what do you have going on? Like, like, or, or what products and services do you have that people can tap into? Uh, I know you just had a virtual event, mm-hmm. but do you have any virtual events coming on? Do you have any virtual events that are, that are kind of like yep. that repeat? Absolutely. How can somebody work with you, tap in with you, you know what I'm saying? Kind of go crazy with you. No, absolutely, sir. Um, I'm actually doing a, a three day digital product summit. And it's going to be uh, that's a, a virtual or virtual? Virtual. Okay. Virtual. Yeah. It's going to be virtual April 1st through the 3rd. Uh, so for anybody who's looking to go crazy, what I tell you, we're going to show you how to really create. You're going to leave there with a whole content strategy. You're going to leave there understanding traffic and how to push traffic. And we're actually doing a money giveaway for the person who needs the most money within those three days. Mm-hmm. So you're going to learn A to Z, how to really go crazy from low ticket to high ticket. I want you to learn not just how to make your daily money, but how to build out your two to $10,000 program. So you can really share the people at the highest level and become the best version of you. Uh, so for that, you know, y'all can just uh, make sure you follow me at Darius Benders and shoot me a DM, uh, the word digital, and I'll definitely get that over to you. So what they need to do is DM uh, at Darius Benders, yeah. the word digital, yeah. to get access to that three days. You know what I'm going to do for your people? We'll give a discount too. So tickets will be five ninety seven, but for people who come through branding, um, y'all, the link's going to be his bio. Y'all going to get 50% off. So that's like, crazy. So it's two next to Just for your people. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, Rebecca, <laughs> this is your time. You know what I'm saying? This is your time to tap in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, jump into the three day, uh, digital, digital product summit. Yep. Tap to the three day digital product summit. Uh, head over to, uh, add Darius Benders, uh, send me DM the word digital. Take advantage of the 50% off. Yep. Yeah. And then, and then just jump in. Right. That's all, that's all the best to do, bro. Crazy. And then it's a money, it's a money situation. So you're investing, you're gonna get the money right back. Exactly. And we're doing a, for those of y'all who take advantage of that VIP, um, 
y'all gonna get an hour to just Q and it, just ask mm-hmm. questions. Yeah, so anything y'all have, like, you know, instead of just trying to DM like we talked about earlier, mm-hmm. I'm, you're gonna have an opportunity. So it's gonna be amazing, man. I'm ready to just turn some people up and shit. Man, I appreciate it, bro. Yo, anything else you got uh, for the people? I mean, you you pretty much just lit, lit the joint up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But anything else you wanna share, uh, share with them, uh, make them aware of, let them know something that they should be looking for. For the, it's an election year, bro. Oh, so you know what that means? Distractions on the right. Facts. Distractions on the left. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Never for the people. Absolutely. Right. So what, what's something that people uh, should should tap into right now? Uh, because you know this is one of those years. Uh, what I would say, bro, we touch base on it, but I just want to emphasize: um, for anyone out there who you know maybe you're on the fence about building a personal brand or you don't have to show more camera, what I would tell you is, I think right now the most important thing you can do is start building that personal brand, right? Because that doesn't go away. So, you know, no matter what really happens in the world, as long as you're alive, you, when you have a personal brand, you can always pivot, you can always make money. Um, so that would be my key, bro, my gym, just go hard, start showing up on camera, showing up for the people. Because really, I think people think it's about them, but it's about the people you're serving. Um, so that would be my key, my gym, to anybody out there listening. So listen, y'all, make sure you tap on my guy, Darius Benders, go to at uh, Darius Benders on Instagram. Hit the word digital, tap into the three day summit. If you're not ready for that, still tap in. Make sure you give him a follow. Ask him some questions in the DM. He has low ticket process services. You can book a call. And he also does uh, you know, workshops and stuff like that, right? So start there. If you like this episode, if you got something for this episode, if you're ready to run your first digital product, leave a comment below. Share this episode out and definitely make sure that you tap in with my guy, bro. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, you for having me, man. Yeah, man. This has been another episode of the Unabsolute Podcast. He's Yaris Benders. I'm Brendan. We'll see you on another one. Peace. <laughs>